Hello everyone, this is DA from A Academy and today we are going to see what is meant by convergence in a metric space. So if we have a metric space X and D and we have a sequence in this metric space such that X0, X1, X2 that converges to some point X and where x belongs to the metric space and we can also write it as sequence xn in a metric space that can be written as x1 x2 and so on to xn and it goes and converges to some point x where x belong to that x and what is the condition of of this sequence to be converges to that point x in a metric space is that we must have a real number that is greater than zero and we'll call it epsilon so this sequence converges to some point x if we have a real number epsilon that is greater than zero then there must be a be a natural number or there must be a tail so what is meant by a tail in a sequence so we can visualize it here that we have a sequence of x1 x2 so on to xn and this procedure will go on and we have a point x from which the sequence converges in that point x so this k tells us that there is a tail somewhere in between these elements so let's say we have a tail on xm and this tail says that that every element after this tail the distance of every element with the limit that is x must be less than this epsilon that is greater than zero and is a real number so we can as we are in a metric space so the distance of any element from this side and with the limit must be less than epsilon so just, that is why we are dealing with the metric here um, as a concept of the distance so the metric of xn and x must be smaller than epsilon. Now what is xn? How we take element where n is greater than or equal to k. More precisely n is greater than k because elements are taken from that side within this tail. So n is greater than k. So this is the condition for all of the n greater than k that a sequence xn converges to some point x in a metric space if we have a real number epsilon greater than zero and a tail represented by k belongs to natural numbers such that the metric of the distance between any element within the tail and the limit is smaller than epsilon and we represented the concept of tail and the element taken from within the tail as for all of the n greater than k so summarizing here a sequence in a metric space that converges to a point x in a metric space if for each real number that is epsilon greater than zero we have a tail represented by k belongs to natural numbers such that the distance of elements taken within the tail and the limit must be smaller than smaller than that real number epsilon because here x is the limit of that sequence xn so we can write as that limit x n approaches to x when the limit n approaches to infinity where x is the limit of the sequence so this is the definition of the convergence in a metric space and this is for now we're looking for most of the videos and you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye